hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back again with gold and red <laughs> as i always said i love gold i love red i love white so i'll be making this ashoki hairband ashoki in um um nigeria language so we'll be using the machine gum these are some extra gum stick that we'll be using we'll be using a rose flower this is bias um the scissors we'll be using an alice brand tape ashoke this is the main the main um uh, material for this stuff and a needle and thread so first of all we'll wrap our alice band i am trying as much as possible to manage my ashoke i don't want to waste it it's the one you are seeing it's a thousand naira you know in nigerian currency so this is how i'll be cutting it so i'll be cutting it this way you leave a space in this part and leave space in the other side so you'll be able to wrap it in inside the alice band so this is it as you can see yeah when you wrap this it will come out perfectly well so i'll be using this to cut extra three so i'll be cutting extra three of this since it's the same length, I just use this one to measure it. No need to place my Alice band on it again. So I'll be cutting this extra three. So what to do when you are uh, dealing with your ashoke, please be very careful. It's pull off easily. So be very careful. I made this ashoke without using a sewing machine. I did everything with gun and needle, gum, needle, and thread. So you be careful with it so that you not spoil your ashoke. So you um apply gum, apply gum on the alice band as I am applying this way. You apply on the ashoke also so that it will come out perfectly well. You place the ashoke on the alice band or you place the alice band on the ashoke, whichever way. So this this is how is is done. Then we have another pieces left. When you are working, please be very careful with this gun. It, it, the gum it has the ability of staining material and ruling everything. It will rule everything and makes it come out very rough. I'll try to be careful, but I'm very careless with this gum. This is finished, so I want to replace it. So I'm done replacing it. The, the process continue. Apply gum on the ashoke and also apply on the alice band. As you can see, some of the part of the ashoke is, is, is pulling off. If you don't want your ashoke to pull off, whichever part you cut, please use candle to burn. I didn't have candle at home, and this is very late in the night that I'm making this. I think I'll be using it for church tomorrow. I'm going to rock this to church tomorrow. So this is not for a customer, it's for myself. So make sure you put enough gum. This gum is not expensive. Put it as, as much as you can. And be careful with it not to ruin your work so same process as you can see this part is remaining that's why i said we'll be using three we'll be cutting this pieces in three places so you have to add extra we are adding extra so that will make it the third pieces but if you don't want if you don't want it this way you don't want to cut you can just cut on a straight line you cut your ashoke, turn your ashoke the other way and cut on a straight line. No need of cutting three pieces the way I did. You just cut on a straight line and you are good to go. So you apply gum on this part. You apply on the ashoke, the excess at the left hand side and at the right hand side. Then you fold in. So you apply your gum, enough gum. And when you apply, when it comes to the edge of the ashoke, just be careful with it. Don't apply much there so that it will not uh, pump out. So we are going to be folding in. Fold in or tuck in, whichever way. <laughs> okay, please. Is this your first time of watching my video? Kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you've been watching my video, you are yet to subscribe. Please subscribe, turn on the notification so that when I post interesting video, you'll be the first person to get the notification okay so you're talking this is how we're going to be doing it you fold in and when you are doing it be careful so that you not have um rough parts at the front of the at the alice band on the alice band you don't have a rough part so you tuck in drag as possible anywhere you see that there's ss or anything just drag in 
so this is what we'll be doing all through yeah place your ashoki just wrap it so with that wrapping this is the this is the um length to be using but i already use a paper to practicalize this if you're a first timer please use paper to practice this so that your work will be neat don't do try and error on your ashoki don't do try and error with your ashoki get a paper and practicalize it so this is the inches of the paper but i'm going to be using more so the way my ashoki is like this i'm not going to trim it on the left and right hand side i'm not going to do it the only thing is to take the to take the long length on how many inches to go with so this excess i'm not cutting it off at all because i might end up rolling my ashoki you will ruin it because it's um the ashoki just like thread that they put in to make this stuff so if you're not careful with it you just spoil everything so this is the inch remaining i'm not going to cut it off i'll just leave it i'll make use of it that way so this is the um the length and the and the width of what i want to do so i already cut i already cut this so i'm not going to be needing this paper anymore i just have to place this on on the ashoki and cut the remaining three i need four to make the beautiful hairband you just um saw so i'll be using the the one i already cut to cut this four So I've cut two, it's remaining two more. You see the way I'm, I'm using my ashoki, even the way I wrap the band from inside, I'll still have a set. I used to make another hairband. I'll be posting that one soon, maybe this weekend, next weekend I'll be posting that or within the week I'll be posting that. So this is it, I'm cutting the last one now cutting the last one now though i'm not a tailor but my hand is straight I, i'll applaud myself for this <laughs> okay i'm not needing my paper anymore this is it i've cut four so i'm going to make i'll be making a cone with it i'll, I'll be making cone with it you can see this is how i i did it i'm making cone with it so i'll be making cone with four of these so they are going to come out as a cone So firstly, I'm not using gun. I'll just make a cone and see how it is. In case you, you don't want your palette, like you can use candle to trim it. You can use candle to burn it. Be careful. Or you take it to, for weaving. Let them weave it for you. Take it to a tailoring shop for weaving. Or you sew it. But I'm not using needle. Just This is just for beginners who doesn't have any, any. They don't have the equipment. They don't have sewing machine. They don't have needle. Oh, sorry, they don't have a sewing machine. They don't have a weaving machine. Sorry, I used the wrong part of the ashoki, so I'm, I turn it to, to the good part now. So this is just for beginner who doesn't have those equipment. With your gum and needle and thread, you will make this hair, um, hair, hair, hair band. So this is it. So this is it. So this is what I'm making. My hairband is done. I finished wrapping it. As you can see, we'll be using bias to cover inside. So the hairband is completely wrapped. This is completely, uh, completely wrapped also. So I'll be using gum to seal it up so that it will not be raising, it will not be raising its head. I'll be what I say. <laughs> So that it will not be pulling out. So we'll be using gum to seal it this way. If you have a sewing machine, I think this is where the sewing machine will come in. Or use needle and try to sew for, sew in. I don't know this inner sewing. I don't know if you can. Um, uh, we are we are um used to it inner sewing. The thread will just be showing a little. So we'll be using uh gum, gum all through this. And believe me, it came out where the gum did not disappoint at all. Everything was perfectly sealed up. So be using gun to make the cone. We already make the cone. We already fold it. If you have a pressing iron, you can use a pressing iron to fold it. But I use my hand. Believe me, it's it's okay. You don't need all that just to. It's going to stress you more. So just use your hand to apply force, and it's good to go. So we are using gun still. 
I'm very careful with this ashoke because this ashoke can actually disappoint you when you think you are almost done with your work. Everything will pull off. Maybe you are trying to drag a thread or something, and the whole ashoke has turned to thread in your hand. So I'm very careful with it. Anything, don't use your hand to pull. Just use scissors to cut off. When you see any thread at all, use scissors to cut off. Don't pull. Don't pull. Don't pull. Once you pull, you spoil it. The ashoke is just thread, thread put together. So we are done with the four cone. This is the first, uh, the first part of it. So we are going to fold it again, again. Yeah, that's why it gives that long look in the previous video you watched. So this is it. We are going to be doing it again. So use gum to seal it just the way we did in the first part. Just fold it into two. So this is it. We have this long shape. The hairband is taking shapes. <laughs> have you subscribed? Don't skip the video. If you skip the video, you're going to miss something. So just watch the video to the end. Watch it to the end so that you'll get every part of um every part, every step, every procedure. So you fold the whole of the ashoke. You fold it again just the way I'm doing it. Okay, this is the last one. I didn't seem to read. When you are working with anything at all that that has to do with folding, applying of gum. Always learn to apply pressure. Apply pressure. See the way everything is lined and as if I sew them. So this is it. So we get a needle and thread. Needle and thread, just tie the end of the thread so that it will not mess your work up. So we have four cone, four ashoki cone. <laughs> Okay, we'll be placing just the way you see it in the previous video. Just place the four together like that. Uh, put them together like this. As you can see, the shape is already here. This is what we want on the Alice band. Yeah, this is how we want it. So we are going to use needle to sew four of them together. If you want to use gum, fine. But I'll be using needle for this. I don't want disappointment, please. So I will be using needle. This is the first time I'm using needle since I started this work. So this is the first time I'm using needle. But at the um at the other part of it where I was folding the cone for the first time, if you want to use needle there, you can. So I finished sewing this. I finished sewing it. It's not a serious sewing. So this is the way I tie my stuff after sewing, cut off excess thread. So this other face now that I'm about doing, if you want to needle it you want to thread you want to sew it you can if you want to use gum you can so i'll be sewing and i'll be using gum so this is how we want it to stay so this part raise uh, this part falling off you can use gum to attach attach it together so we'll be applying gum on the alice band gum in excess in excess please so we apply a lot of gum I don't mind about that opening there because I know this um this uh, crown shape I made will cover it up so I don't mind this part that is showing I don't mind so all these parts something will cover it up so I don't mind so as you can see this is it always apply pressure when you're using gum for anything apply pressure to make the gum more sticky so apply pressure so apply pressure <laughs> it's very hot so this part some of the cone is falling off so use your hand to arrange it, use your hand to lay them because of the sewing and the gum you applied. It's it's expected to fall off this way. So you just use your gum to 
to arrange it very well the part falling up at the back i'll just put a little gum in between this part i'll just put a little gum in between and use needle now so i finish um applying gum i'm going to sew now i want to sew it so i'll be sewing yeah we're sewing everything together again so i'll finish sewing it this is it this is it this is the back back of the hairband so we'll be using this uh, rose this part this part that looks like leaf i've been needing it to cover the back so i'm cutting them off if your work is very rough then you need a so this rose only came with this three only came with three um leaf like um part so i'll be using the tree to cover the back you can see the back is neat no i think i should place the flower the other way around okay so i'll be covering this part with this rose I'll be covering it with the rose thank god the 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 tree um the tree rose is enough so this is how it is i'll cover it so this is where i need my gum i'll apply gum i'm applying gum on the on the actual key then also on the rose so cover other parts when a when a novice sees it you will think okay that's design they won't know you're using it to cover the ugly part of the <laughs> of the hairband so we'll be using that to cover the the early uh, the part of the hairband that does not need so we'll do the same to the to the remaining two. This whole process did not take me up to up to an hour. It, it was very simple. Like I'm not saying it to I'm not saying it because I, I already know how to make it. It's very simple actually. Very simple. It did not take me what's an hour? Not up to an hour. I was I was just on it and I'm done with it. It's not difficult and it's not time taking, it's not time consuming. Like it's not something you dedicate a whole hour for. In less than 30 minutes or 40 minutes, it should be done. You are not sewing, you are not doing anything different. Just to follow this process and you are good to go. Okay, the back is settled let's come back to the front now so what we'll be doing now is to place some um, you know yeah this uh placing the rules this way is more more beautiful uh-huh this this is more beautiful so i'll be applying a lot of gum and on the hairband and on the rose so a lot of it so on the rose so this is where we need you need your muzzle so you apply pressure apply a lot of pressure and your hair bond is beautifully made okay so um, we are doing finishing now you see all the rough parts all these parts please use your needle to use your um needle scissors whichever thing just use it to remove it to make your work come out clean this end part of it just use um bias you see how beautiful it's looking just use bias to seal up this part and your work will come out neatly just use bias to seal it up the way you're seeing it use gum to seal that place up and so when you see the part up, this is your beautiful hairband, ready to be a rock, ready for wedding, ready for occasion, ready for church, ready for out, just beautiful for all occasion. Thank you for watching my video.